We're on our way to the music video shoot. Met up with Buff, and I am so excited. I still got my work beanie on, but everybody was supposed to get there at 1.30. Buff was the only one that got there at 1.30. Bitches. <laughs> and then Peter didn't show up till two, but e either way, I am very excited for this music video. How do you feel about it, Buff? Oh, dude, I'm stoked. Yeah, I've, I've never been in a band that shot a music video f like for its own music. I've only been in like Friends music videos. I've actually in the story so far Nerve music video for like 0 .2 seconds. Nerd. Best 2.2 2 seconds of my life. But either way, let's get there. I'll pick you guys up once we get to the to, to our practice space because that's where we're actually shooting it so uh, awkward but fuck it see you guys <laughs> <laughs> so we just made it to the practice space we're shooting the like there's the story part that we're doing and then there's also this like um, isolation part of it that we're doing and uh, then we're also doing the shoot oh shit socks 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 no down down? Ow, socks tooth hit me in the fucking pinky. That was lame. But we're filming the uh, the music video also at the show that we're doing, so it's kind of like a combination of all three things. So I'm pretty stoked, and here we are approaching it. Suck you fucking nerd. Suck you little bitch. Here's Jared. So this is the dude that's shooting our music video. What's His up? name is Dom. This is lit as fuck. Uh, it's a nice ass camera though. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even fit Peter. No, it's perfect. It's perfect. Peter it's perfect. went from Peter to Carrot Top in like two <laughs> seconds. I'm not nearly that rich. <laughs> yeah, that guy's weird, dude. Okay, buff, you're up. Moment of truth. I want. I need to. I need to see. Yeah, no. No, that's beautiful. <laughs> I'm not gonna stay on my head. Bobby pins, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh, oh God, God. right in my face. <laughs> Warn me. Copy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but see, see. Dude, you had the deer in the headlights look like. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. But see, here's the thing. The other one was better. No, was it? no, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. What was it? Just call him and call him a cuck. Nah. Nah. Yeah. No. That's more useful though. It's not nearly as funny. Here's your rave condom. Ew. Copy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I wanted to copy He's that. He's going to a rave. Rar XD delete. <laughs> god, I really hate you. I hate myself too. So they put the wig on me and I'm not entirely, like looking at myself, I'm not sure how I feel about it though. I, I, I feel like I, I like if Kitty Foreman had like curly red hair, this is I feel like this is how she would look with the yeah. beard and everything. Agreed. And yeah. being Mexican. And, and and being Mexican. So Kaylee finally made it after like nine and a half years. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Getting, I had some traumatic experience happen. She she got caught in the mud. I became a cowboy. But those days are over. Fucking hate you. Oh. <laughs> also. Socks got out, and we had to chase her for a little bit. It wasn't too long, but we still chased her. And there she is right now, but uh, that was annoying. But here we are, video shit's about to happen. Pretty fucking excited. That was probably really close to my face, and I'm really sorry. But anyways, let's get into it. guys so I'm home now the that part of the video shoot is done my voice is all messed up because I didn't have time to warm up today because I worked I haven't done my like vocals in like a month and that's that's one thing that I 
if I'm going to suggest to any young vocalist, it's if you start doing it, just keep on going because your body will almost forget what it's like to be able to do that and get comfortable with not doing it. And then as soon as you start doing it, it gets all pissed off. It was super cool. Everybody was jamming. Everybody was vibing. It was it was such a cool experience to be able to do this. And Dom, thank you so much for shooting the music video. It's super rad. You were super cool, super chill. Um, you dealt with us, and that's more than really anybody could ask for. I just wanted to take a minute to actually break down, because uh, I figured this is a little bit shorter than I had anticipated, but um, more what Red Wolf Thermal is about. So... I remember talking about it in a previous video on how I write my lyrics. The whole story with Red Wolf Thermal was I was, uh, I grew up in a little tiny town called Bishop, California. When I was there, I was like, you know, it would be super cool if I got my license and I came back to Bishop, uh, if, and I came back to Santa Rosa with my license. One thing that I do have to add is that this all takes place last year when I was visiting Bishop for my aunt's wedding because this all made it sound like I was there years ago and then all of this happened. So I just thought that I'd give you all some of that insight because I wouldn't want to leave all of y'all hanging with shit information. And I was, I was really cocky about it. I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be easy, no problem. And I like, I go and I take the test and they asked me to do things that I'd never done before. I ended up failing. I let my cockiness get the best of me. I just remember my grandma dropping me off at my aunt's house because I was staying at her house at the time and I had it to myself. I get to the house and I just started crying because I, my ego was so hurt and I'm not like that. I'm not a person that has got a huge ego. I'm not a person that's really cocky. And it's specifically for reasons like this. As soon as I got home, I started, I just started crying and I said, okay, well, I, I had just gotten into Without Prejudice at this point and they'd given me so much material to work with, so much material to, to, to write. So I thought the best thing to do was to write down exactly how I felt because that's what you should always do when you're writing. You should always talk about how you feel. So... The beginning lines of the song, the struggles of life are slowly wearing down on me, grinding me into nothing. I will not give up until my life has reached its end. Um, the whole grinding in that, like the, the struggles of life are wearing down on me. Um, that was just the sadness that was getting over me because I had been so like essentially heartbroken because of this. And I, I, I felt like shit. It was just something that as soon as I wrote down, I knew that it was going to be good. You know, it, it goes through a bunch of really weird, different sort of metaphors. Reaching a standing point only to find myself back on the ground. That is, that was kind of about my cockiness going into my whole driver's test. Like, I stood up and I was like, you know what, yeah, yeah, I could, I could totally do this. And then, as soon as I took the test, life decided to whip its dick out and slap me in the face. I got knocked back down onto the ground. My favorite line in, like, my favorite couple of lines in the entire song are, never let life sink you into an abyss. Um, because the song does this really weird thing where it starts out and it's really depressing and it's about, like, you know, just being depressed. That's, like, what 90% of my songs are about. It starts off very sad and it ends on a high note um it ends with the, the the rain only lasts so long now you are much stronger um i symbolize the rain as your sadness you know when people when it's raining outside people are like oh it looks super depressing so that's kind of what i made it as then and then like the next line after that is probably my favorite I'm pretty sure it's the next line. Should I fucking forget? Um, the beauty of life never dies. So stand up and tell your story. Uh, two lines. But um, stand up and tell your story means basically what you're going through. Anything that's depressing, anything that's sad. To like not be scared to talk about it. Because I'm a firm believer in if something's bothering you, to talk about it. 
whether you're talking to a therapist, whether you're talking to your mom, whether you're talking to your friends, whether you're talking to Buffalo Bill, I don't, I don't really, it doesn't matter. You're talking to someone about it. Um, and it's always made me feel better to be able to talk about it and like get something in return, whether it's someone agreeing with me and saying, hey, like, but this, you're, you're right, but take a look at it this way. It's, it's a really, it's my favorite song vocally. It's my f favorite song uh, off the EP vocally. Favorite song musically off of the EP. This video is now come to an end. I don't know what time it is right now, but I gotta edit as much of this as I can before I work tomorrow at 6 a.m. Thank you guys very much for watching my video. If you guys can give this video a like, and let's see, if you've made it this far in the video, which you can comment down uh, in the in the comment section, uh, just comment Goonies are good enough, just so I know that you've made it this far. Make sure and subscribe. Um, we've made it to 31 subscribers, and I am super stoked about that. So either way, thank you guys so much for checking out my video. I'll see y'all next time.